Hi guys, Frey and the Squirrel, I am back with another video and last night was Fastlane so for today's video I thought I'd do a quick recap of my thoughts on what happened and at the end a little bit more information on the giveaway. Uh, the first match that we had was Shinsuke Nakamura versus Rusev. Kind of a slow match for me. I felt like more could have happened in it. There were a couple of, of amazing spots like the super kick from Rusev when uh, Shinsuke went charging in for the Kinshasa. Yeah, that super kick. Jesus Christ, it looked like it near enough took off Shinsuke's head. The finish with the Kinshasa to the back of the head and then Kinshasa straight on to Kinshasa to end it. What more can you ask for? Shinsuke Nakamura won it. Oh, that was my first prediction loss because I had Rusev in that. Uh, the next match that we had was for the United States Championship, and that was Randy Orton against Bobby Roode. Again, kind of expected more from it. Basically, expected a lot more from Bobby Roode in it. Randy Orton, everything that can be expected was expected in that. Again, a couple of good spots. Apart from the couple of good spots, it just wasn't that much of an entertaining match. Randy Orton finally captured the United States Championship, so that puts him in the Grand Slam winners. There's not many Grand Slam winners. Basically, you have to have held all the active titles that you can hold to be able to call yourself a Grand Slam champion, basically. I mean, that's good for Randy. He, he does deserve it, thinking through his career, but he's too boring and stale for me. I think we're expecting to see a uh, triple threat at WrestleMania. Bobby Roode against Randy Orton against Jinder Mahal for the championship. But it's just one of them. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. The next match was the women's tag team match. Becky Lynch and Naomi against Natalia and Carmella. For me, this match felt a bit more fast-paced. Uh, a lot more chucked into it. So it felt like this was the start of maybe it gradually building to the good matches. The almost tags, that was the bit that got me. Every time Naomi almost tagged in uh, Becky, that, that was brilliant. I was like sitting on the edge of my seat waiting to see if she actually got the tag. Obviously there was the bit with Natalia grabbing the money in the bank briefcase, trying to get over to Carmella. Becky stopped that from happening, but it caused enough of a distraction to actually pick up the win for Natalia and Carmella. Don't think it really does much going forward. It's just a victory. Uh, then we got to see the Usos versus the New Day for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Things were going brilliantly in this match. Really interested in this, seeing it, both teams using each other's moves. You always love to see when a wrestler uses a move that's not their own, but when they're stealing someone else's and when they're doing it so much, it, it just becomes so interesting to watch. And no one actually won this match because the Bludgeon Brothers came out and interrupted it and just started tearing the whole place apart. I'm going to be the guy that says it now. The Bludgeon Brothers aren't really grabbing my attention. I, I don't like the full gimmick. Bludgeon Brothers, crappy nickname. The way they come out with the big mallet things. It's just not my taste. There's a lot more they could be doing with Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Luke Harper started to get himself over for a while. People were really invested in watching him. And then down to this. I don't see it going very far. But apart from the Bludgeon Brothers getting involved, like I say, it was a really good match, uh, which I think it always is when it's the Usos versus the New Day. They know how to work well together, and they always put on a brilliant match, yeah. After that, we got to see the SmackDown Women's Championship match. This was Charlotte Fleur against Ruby Riot. I'm gonna say now, I was wrong. In my last video, I stated that Ruby Riot wasn't ready for this sort of thing, uh, being thrust into women's championship picture. And she put on one hell of a fight in that. I enjoyed watching every second of that. If it wasn't for the final fight of the night, that would have been my match of the night, honestly. Both women did amazing in the ring. The Riot Squad show up and get involved and then be ejected from ringside. Brilliant. I kind of expected that but it was still good to see. Part of what I didn't expect was uh, Becky Lynch and Naomi coming down when the Riot Squad came out. 
I mean, I probably should have expected it, but I think I was more focused on the whole Riot Squad side of it to think about uh, someone coming to the aid of Charlotte. Those two also got ejected from ringside, so it made things a bit more exciting, to be fair. Yeah, the end of the match, I think we got the result that we were all expecting. We were all expecting Charlotte to win. Charlotte got to show exactly why she is known as one of the best female wrestlers in the world right now. And Ruby Riot got to show exactly why she was brought up from NXT and put into the main roster. Great match between the two, and I think we're probably going to see more of it in the future. And then the end of the match, Asuka arriving on SmackDown to challenge Charlotte for the title at WrestleMania. Everyone was expecting it to be Alexa Bliss versus Asuka at WrestleMania. Because th that's what they've been building up. That's what they've been talking about. So I th we're, we're all sitting there going, uh, it's a bit obvious that she's going to pick Alexa Bliss so she could get the Raw, tag, uh, the Raw Women's Championship. But no, when she showed up on SmackDown, massive surprise, big pop, and then just points at the sign. Brilliant. Amazing way to do it. She don't, didn't even have to say a word. Now moving on to the final match of the night. It was the six-pack challenge for the WWE Championship, and it was against AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, John Cena, Baron Corbin, and Dolph Ziggler. Wasn't expecting what I saw from Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin really put on the best performance I think I've seen from him in a while. In, the, in this match, we did actually see a lot more from Baron Corbin and what he can do in the ring. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, their little rivalry thing going forward. It, it's getting more and more entertaining to see. The whole uh, part with Sami Zayn lying down to let Kevin Owens pin him and then Kevin Owens not trusting it because of what happened the previous SmackDown. Then Sami Zayn getting in Shane McMahon's face and then moving out of the way when uh, Kevin Owens went to kick him in the face. Uh, so Kevin Owens gets Shane. Fair enough, if you're going to work the boss in into the storyline, it's an alright way to do it. Having Shane make sure that the those two don't win again, it's starting to get to a point where it just feels a bit repetitive. John Cena, big match John, looking OP as always. Dolph Ziggler popping up every now and then to deliver some brilliant moves. He is one of the most athletic wrestlers in my opinion. He, kno he knows how to move around the ring, he knows how to work and move well. So yeah, it's it just shows why he's been in this business for as long as he has. Because he knows what he's doing when he's wrestling. He is one of the best. To be fair, one of the best that WWE has. The winner of the match, AJ Styles. I mean, nice way to end it. Uh, John Cena hitting Dolph Ziggler with an AA, then trying to go for it again, only to get blocked by Kevin Owens, who delivers the pop-up powerbomb. And then for AJ Styles to spring over the rope and hit the phenomenal forearm. Amazing. Couldn't be happier because it means WrestleMania main event we are going to see AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship five star match I guarantee it and my overall opinion on Fastlane it it was an okay pay-per-view it, it wasn't like the best it wasn't brilliant or anything but it was it, it was a decent pay-per-view to watch now on to the bit that I'm guessing most of you have clicked on this video for. And in my last video, I said that if I got half or more wrong, I would do a giveaway of a £10 Amazon gift card. I got four predictions wrong out of six, which means the giveaway is going ahead. So what I'll do is, Friday I'll do the draw. All you have to do uh, to enter, well, I stated it in, in my previous video, um, Go back to that video, put in the comments below who your favourite wrestler is and on Friday I'll put all of the names into a wheel or something uh, so that I can pick a name out at random and to that person I will send a code with their Amazon gift voucher on it. But yeah, that's where I'm actually going to end this video. Uh, I hope you did like the video. If you did like it, give it a like. 
Comment down below your thoughts on Fastlane. Was it a good pay-per-view? Was it bad? Was there a particular match you, you enjoyed? Uh, subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.